Hi, today I will show you how and why you should create uh, V-Ray proxies. Uh, so uh, it's very important uh, when you're working on bigger projects to make your objects uh, to a V-Ray proxy because uh, this way the geom geometry is uh, uh, in reality not present in the file it's just a representation and only at render time the the real geometry is displayed and rendered uh, the v-ray mesh format uh, can hold the information for all the geometry and its topology of the faces the vertices uh, the texture channels and also the material IDs of each face. Uh, the materials uh, themselves are uh, not stored in the file, so uh, you, they have to be applied to the generated uh, V-Ray proxy object. Uh, from version 2023, uh, the V-Ray Mesh Exporter is located here from the V-Ray drop-down menu and this is how it looks. Uh, the first uh, is the location where the proxy will be created. You can navigate and uh, make a folder for your proxies. Uh, then there are two uh, options. Either you export uh, all of the selected objects to a single uh, proxy file or uh, you make uh, uh, an individual proxy, proxy for every object uh, when this uh, automatically create uh, uh, proxies is ticked uh, all the uh, the materials are uh, applied correspondingly to the proxy uh, and there is no need uh, to make uh, by hand uh, a multi-sub object material and to apply it uh, later on so uh, it's best that this one is ticked on but uh, after the creation of the a proxy itself the original uh, mesh will be deleted uh, so uh, here uh, you can set the minimum preview faces and the maximum preview faces of uh, the proxy that will, how it will be displayed and you can uh, specify here the percentage of the uh, maximum faces that will be displayed this one should be ticked on so that you are sure that you are not uh, overwriting uh, an existing file uh, and there is no mess here from this drop down menu you can specify the quality of the generated preview uh, the refined clustering is with the highest quality and the closest to the original uh, mesh of preview but it, uh, it is a bit uh, more uh, time consuming uh, this one is the fastest way it's just uh, randomly selects uh, different faces and displays them uh, this one should be ticked on to optimize for making instances of the proxy and now let's uh, go and uh, create some proxies to show you better how it works so let's start with uh, this scene here 
as you see it's a group so you should we should ungroup it so now it's uh, all different objects it's 71 objects selected so there are different ways that we can do it we can either uh, select and attach uh, uh, individual objects for example to make it as individual chairs uh, and the table itself or we can make one proxy from the whole thing uh, let's select and try the first uh, to make a proxy from everything all at once as we said we choose the destination and export all selected objects into a single file uh, then uh, we can uh, uh, tick the automatically create proxies choose the very fast object uh, preview type creation tick the create multi sub object because there are many uh, materials and uh, the proxy will be created with a multi-sub object and all the materials will be uh, uh, brought together into a single multi-sub object material and this one uh, should be ticked on as well because uh, when it's ticked uh, this means that uh, only unique materials will be exported to this multi sub object and when they are uh, the same material they will, it will be discarded it will be only one material so let's do it uh, it will be called let's name the file yes Tribu uh, outdoor set and press OK. The meshes themselves will be deleted, and here you see a proxy with uh, the material supplied. And let's see from this amount of polys and vertices we go down to 10,000 polygons and 30,000 vertices and this is how it looks at the moment the scene is 26 megabytes and after we made this poly and make save let's check it it's 2 megabytes and the, the mesh itself is stored outside the file and will be uh, used only at render time and the file is significantly reduced as you can see let's go back another thing that uh, is very interesting and useful is uh, to make a, a separate preview mesh that can be used uh, in the file as a preview so it's not going to be 10,000 10, uh, faces it can be much less as you can see so I have prepared a preview of this chair, uh, dining set like this. It's only uh, 400 polys, so it will be significantly less present in the in the file. First, select all the. the mesh is here we name it uh, the same way and override it 
and uh, specify the preview mesh like this automatically and everything else is the same and then let's press ok let's override it and as you can see now our proxy is looking like this we are getting the shape that we need and As you can see, all the information is here when necessary. And we can we get a nice representation of the volume and uh, all the assets. Let's get back again to the initial state and now let's show you some other features here uh, so we can export also an animation let's animate for example this chair like this so here an animation is stored now we can ex we'll export only this one to show you how the animation works uh, so we tick the export animation and here are several options we either use the scene animation range and then when exporting it will get all the frames here from 0 to 100 or whatever this number is the whole range and it will be exported all but as we see our animation is only 20 frames so there is no need to export all of the frames so we can specify a frame range so we specify here from 0 to 20 and when this is ticked on the redraw views during export this means that uh, it will play the animation while exporting it is uh, very useful because we can see what is going on and we know that uh, everything is as it should be and now as you can see here is the proxy and the animation itself is here as well now let's check another way making the proxy what we have to do now is attach all the objects together to a single mesh let's do this and match material add this to material so now everything is one mesh what I like to do is uh, affect the pivot only and uh, center to object then to the zero and then go and reset x form 
preset text form is useful because uh, sometimes some objects can be scaled or uh, rotated or somehow changed according to their original creation and when we create the proxy it will be some parts can be out of scale or something can be moved and distorted so it's very useful before creating the proxy to reset its X form I prefer to make the location of the pivot in the middle and in the bottom because it's very useful uh, for placing uh, the proxies later on in the project so now that we have prepared the model let's go to V-Ray Mesh Export once more the location of the proxy and export the selected object in a separate file let's call it uh, tribu set now and uh, let's not tick the automatically create proxies so you can see what happens then we use the very fast and 10,000 faces press ok as you can see nothing happens nothing is imported into the file so let's check here as you can see the proxy is created it's called tribute set so what we have to do is go to geometry v-ray v-ray proxy and let's take the tribute set proxy and here it is as you can see there are no materials we can change the preview mode to edges, faces, bounding box or whatever but let's take care for the materials as we have uh, attached everything together here there will be a multi sub material created and we can apply it to the proxy and everything is working perfectly as you see and now there are a lot less faces and very easier to navigate in the scene as you can see we can go to a lot of frames per second this way and work with a lot big uh, files and objects with many many polygons and vertices I hope that this was some useful information for you and uh, this will improve your workflow for sure if you didn't know about this information uh, hope you like it and if I have missed something uh, please share down in the comments if you did enjoy anything in this video then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does. If you haven't subscribed yet, click below and join us. We have some great videos coming up next that you don't wanna miss. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.